Okay guys, my hair is all pin curled. What I decided to do this time was to actually lay the curls around the edges flat on my hair like a true pin curl. So I don't know if you can see that. I think this is a good example. So what I did was I did the barrel roll and then I turned it on the side and put the pin over the top of that curl so it's laid flat onto my hair, onto my head. And that's just because I was having difficulty pinning it up. That's really the only reason. Um, I don't really know how it's going to come out looking, but I guess we'll see tomorrow. And for the rest of my hair, I actually did what I told you guys I was going to do before. Uh, did like a barrel roll and had these curls standing up on my head. And so the edges are laid, on my, laid flat to my scalp and the curls in the middle of my head are standing up. And we'll see how this turns out tomorrow. I'm going to uh, work out in the morning. Then I go to spin class. And hopefully I don't sweat too much in my hair. So I'll take it out and I'll come back on camera. So you can see how I'm actually wearing the curls and how they come out. I think that they'll be a bit looser than, say, a Bantu knot would be. And so I'll let you guys see tomorrow. Until then, see ya. Hey guys, it's the morning and I'm just getting back from spin class. It's about 6.45 this morning and I was hoping that I would not sweat so much that I sweated all of my scalp. However, my instructor just went totally crazy this morning. She was like, we're going to get a Friday burn. And so we worked out this morning and my whole shirt was drenched. The back, I think... It's still kind of wet. It's kind of gross. I need to take a shower. But I wanted to just come here and let you guys know that I'm going to end up this morning sitting under the dryer for a little while just to make sure my hair is completely dry. I didn't sit under the dryer last night and I just kind of tied my hair down and went to sleep hoping that it would dry overnight. But I think uh, that just not sitting under the dryer last night combined with sweating in my hair this morning just it it may mess the curls up if I try to take my pin curls down and my hair is not fully dry. Anytime you set your locks to get curls or any other texture, a braid out maybe, it's important to let your hair dry all the way so that you actually get the desired results. If you don't let your hair dry all the way, you will get some texture, as in some curl or some crinkle, but it won't be optimal. And so I'm going to sit in a dry for a little while this morning, probably about 20 minutes or so, you know, on high, just so that I can make sure that my hair gets dry before I attempt to take these down. But on another note, I actually kind of like the pin curls. Am I the only one that thinks that this is kind of a cute style? I mean, if I could hide the actual pins, I have a mirror over here. If I could actually hide the pins, somehow I think that I think they'll be okay I think this could actually work as a style I don't know let me let, let me know what you guys think I don't want to be the only one <laughs> thinking that this looks cute and everyone else is thinking it looks a mess that's one of the bad things about living by yourself. Um, you don't really have anyone else to tell you um, where you're going like that. Say, maybe you may put an outfit together that you think is a hit and it's really a miss. You know, people at work usually won't ask you, you know, what you're wearing. Usually they'll just talk about you or they'll just look at you and laugh to themselves. But yeah, put in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about just wearing pin curls as a style. If you do it, or if you think it's definitely something that just needs to be kept in the house and, you know, taken down and worn out. So, oh, before I go, I have something for you guys. This is totally random, but like I told you, I mentioned before that I've been working on making soaps. I mean, I'm going to try to make my own shampoo one day. But for now, I'm just working on cold processed soaps. And so this is my soap box. I actually got my handy girl on and cut the wood and everything. 
myself and I screwed the box together. I measured everything right and I made myself, it looks kind of, um, I messed up right there. It looks kind of, kind of, um, homemade, but it is. And so that's okay. <laughs> and I actually have soap in my box. I made this batch of soap last night. It has coconut oil, olive oil, palm oil, castor oil, shea butter, and it has a sandalwood vanilla fragrance. Mmm. <laughs> With a little bit of um, chopped up, uh, actually it's finely chopped, uh, what's this stuff called? Oatmeal. Yeah. And so hopefully this soap is moisturizing and it comes out really well. I poured it last night and so it's still in the mold this morning. I mean, I'm probably going to cut it. I don't know. It's still a little soft. I'm probably going to give it some more time. It's, it's stopped heating up. It's, it's gone through the gel phase and everything. I have plastic wrap on top of it so I don't get soda ash on top. But I'm still getting a little bit, which is okay. I'm going to cut, cut that off anyway. And so just so, so you guys know what I'm doing, I mean, other than hair, try my hand at making soap. It's coming out really well so far. My first batch that I made was completely, it was just to try out soap making, get familiar with the saponification process. It was completely uh, coconut oil and lye. Like, that was it. And so it's the most drying soap that you could ever make. I mean, I guess it would be good for washing clothes or, or household cleaning, but this soap should be so much better. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Hopefully it comes out great, and I'll know in like a month and a half or so. Because when you make soap, you have to let it cure for quite a while before it's actually safe to use. Right now it's still going through the saponification process. So it's not real soap yet, but it's on its way there. And I'm excited about this batch. But um, yeah, I'm gonna come back and let you guys, let you guys know, um, let you guys see how the pin curls came out. And remember, let me know what you think about actually keeping pin curls as a style. Cause I'm kinda digging it. I don't know, I think it's kinda cool. Especially when my hair is still this short, because I know that when my hair gets longer, I won't be able to pin curl it. And so I'm trying to take advantage, and I think it's important for all of us to, even though your hair isn't at maybe your optimal length, say you're trying to get down to a uh, bra strap length or, or mid-back for you guys that don't wear bras. <laughs> so you want longer hair, and that's the goal. It's important to take advantage of the different stages of your hair, because when my hair gets longer, I won't be able to pin curl it and keep it, you know, I won't be able to do short styles anymore. And so I really want to take full advantage of the stage that my hair is in right now. But let me know what you guys think, and I'll be right back. Hey, guys. So I'm getting ready to take these curls down. I took the pins out of the curls already. I just slipped them out. Set up my mirror so I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, I took the pins out of the curls already, and so, but they're still in the form that I left them in. I'm just going to kind of loosen them up now. And all I'm really going to be doing to my hair is what I usually do. I feel like I do the same thing all the time. <laughs> I'm just going to be pulling it up, pulling it back, and wearing it up out of my face. So I'm just separating the curls right now. Separating the curls, separating the curls. Some of my ends are still kind of straggly. <laughs> but that will go away as my locks mature more. My ends will start sealing and looking more rounded, hopefully doesn't take too long for that to happen. That's just one of the differences that I noticed between uh, starting your locks with two strand twists versus comb coils. I think I'm thinking about doing a video on the differences because I've been noticing a lot of differences between the two lock journeys that I've been on. And the first one I started with comb coils and the second one I started with two strand twists and there are definitely pros and cons to each. Okay, so this is, these are the curls out. 
kind of had like helmet head going on. <laughs> And I guess as my hair gets longer, these curls, when well, my hair actually starts to have weight to it, so that it can actually fall when I take the curls out, it'll look totally different. So as my hair matures, the same styles will look different on my hair. But for now, what I'm going to do is just pull it up like I said. I forgot my, oh, no, here we go. Thought I was gonna have to go get my headbands, but they're right here. So I'm gonna just use two headbands this time and to pull my hair back. What I do with these is these actually these actually come attached here. They're sewn together, but I just cut them open and tie it in the back because it's just a lot easier for me that way. Uh, I feel like I can't get set up right this time. And this is what happens when I'm rushing. I'm actually trying not to be late for work. So I'm trying to rush, but sometimes when you rush, you just make yourself later. So I pull the headband kind of tight. And I tie it. I put a double knot in the back. And then I pull the headband back. as far back as I can so that none of the locks pop out of the headband. So as far back as I can until the locks in the front are towards the, the very end when the headband goes over them. Okay. And actually, I think I'm going to leave this with one headband. I don't really feel like putting another one on. Because I forgot, I actually retwisted the front. Sometimes if I don't retwist the front of my hair, the edges, um, I'll put a d another headband on. So I'll double the headbands because my hair would just kind of puff up and then it'd be like a headband hiding behind uh, new growth or roots. But since I twisted my hair, I forgot about that. Where is this lock? I can feel a lock. Okay, there it goes. Since I twisted my hair, the edges, I'm not going to do that. So that's that. And what I'll do, I'll wear this style until the curls start looking wonky. Um, I'll just tie it down at night, put my, my, um, my scarf on, take it out in the morning, just kind of fluff it up a little bit. May spray a little bit of water on it to liven up the curls a little bit. Even though as you mist your hair, the curls drop a bit. So that's like a give and take. It depends on if like one side of my hair is flat and the other side isn't, I'm going to have to like liven it up a little bit. Sometimes I, I, with time, like I'll do my hair in the morning and by the time I'm ready to go to work, the curls will have livened up by themselves. So, I mean, it's all up to you depending on how much time you have to dedicate to your hair in the morning, but this hairstyle will last me a good four, a good four days. It'll stay curly like this until I'm ready to do something else to it, or I may just wash it and then keep pulling it back like I've been doing for the past couple of months. I really haven't been doing much to my hair, but um, this is, these are the kinds of curls that you get with pin curls. I like the quality of the curl better with the pin curl as opposed to a bantu knot. I feel like my bantu knots make the curls too tight and you really can't tell that it's a curl so much because it's so tight, but pin curls work better for my hair. So I hope you guys liked it. Let me do you a little turnaround. I keep feeling like one of these locks is gonna pop out, but I hope not. So this is the second time you guys have seen me do pin curls. Well. This is the second time you've seen the results of pin curls, but the first time I showed you my pin curls in my sweet potato pie video, I didn't show you how I did them. So I'm going to do a turnaround. And you know, I'm not going to turn all the way around. Because sometimes me turning all the way around just gets awkward and difficult. So I hope you can see that. Thanks so much for watching. See you later.